The truth is, I have no idea if this is going to be possible or not, but I do know one thing I'm really excited to try. For those of you that are new here, I'm Stephanie and I'm a lover of all things stories. In 2021, I rediscovered my love of reading when I started this booktube channel. Since then, reading has become a major part of my life again. Stories have always been my escape, a way for me to... Yeah, live out the adventures that I always wanted to but couldn't in my real life. Unless you know where I can find dragons in North Carolina, then I might put aside my books for real life. Reviving this channel has been on my mind for a while now. I've really missed sharing my favorite reads with you guys and talking about book to movie and TV show adaptations, and that's why I've decided to bring this channel back to life in 2024. I think we all need a little bit more bookish magic in our lives, and I'm really excited to dive back into this community. Now let's address the major plot hole here um, the reason that my channel died in the first place. I'd started this channel at the tail end of the pandemic when I had just moved in to an apartment by myself after spending the majority of the pandemic living with my sister and her family. So I went from a house of seven people down to just me. And then the pandemic had a bit of like a flare up again, right when I started the channel. So I wasn't really going out or doing anything. So I decided at that point that I wanted to bring reading back into my life. And that's when I started this channel as a way to keep myself accountable at that time for adding reading back into my daily routine. Because of that, I actually rediscovered my love of reading, not even just reading, but stories in general. And of course, it was a great way to connect with other book lovers at a time where I was desperately seeking connection with people. Of course, since then, life has returned to some semblance of normalcy, which means that all of the social responsibilities that I didn't have during the pandemic came back in full force. Not that I'm complaining, I love spending time with my family and friends, but I maybe found myself to be a little overcommitted. Add that to the fact that I had just gotten a promotion at work that, while is a very rewarding career, is incredibly demanding and also emotionally draining. It basically boiled down to I just didn't have the bandwidth to create the kind of content that I wanted to create. So I decided to set it aside. That really wasn't an easy thing for me to do. I really enjoyed the content that I made on this channel. I loved talking about books and their adaptations and trying to get people to appreciate book adaptations more. And I know just like it wasn't easy to leave that it's not going to be easy for me to come back. But I've learned a lot since I've been away. I have been reading a lot like a lot. My appreciation of not just books has increased, but stories in general. So that's kind of the direction that I want to take this channel moving forward. Yes, it primarily is going to talk about books and book adaptations, but I want to talk about stories with you and connect about stories across the board. Moving forward, I will continue to prioritize my book adaptation content because honestly, that's what I'm passionate about. There's something really interesting and exciting about talking about how a book translates onto the screen and also talking about what makes a good adaptation and what doesn't. And that's the content I really want to dive deep in with you guys. I'll also maintain my book review content um, in the form of monthly wrap-ups where I'll tell you what I've read in the hopes that maybe you'll find something that you're interested in reading, or even uh, if you've already read it, you can tell me what you thought. Did you agree with me or did you hate it? Because chances are I'm probably going to like it. I don't dislike a lot of things. Or maybe you want to join me in reading a book that I have on my TBR. So I will be posting my monthly TBR at the end of every month. But I really can't wait to explore these books with you. No matter how you plan on engaging with my content moving forward, I'm really excited to get to explore these stories with you. But here's also some exciting news. I am adding an additional dimension to my channel, and that is writing. In November of 2023, I completed my first NaNoWriMo challenge. And while I did end up leaving the NaNoWriMo platform after all of the controversy that was going on over there, I still 
continue to write those 50,000 words. This was honestly a huge achievement for me. I had never finished anything that could have been considered full manuscript length when it came to a novel. And so this was a massive accomplishment, uh, something I never thought that I would do. And I was so proud of myself that I even got a new tattoo to commemorate. Note to anybody interested in getting a tattoo. I love the location of my tattoo. I love that I can look down at it and see it clearly and be reminded of the significance behind it. The fact that I accomplished something I never thought possible for myself. However, when you're showing it to someone, it twists. Um, unless I'm like showing it like this, which that's just awkward. So if you want to see a better thing, I'll post a picture here. So anyway, I digress. Um, back to writing. So since I finished uh, this challenge, I have been dedicating seven hours a week to writing um, at a minimum. And I have really noticed since then a change in my writing quality and the amount of ideas that I have. But it's been really important to me to kind of stretch myself and stretch my prose ability and my storytelling ability. And while I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, I think it could be interesting to kind of share the journey of training myself to be a better writer. And I can share what I've learned and you can share what you know in the hopes that we can all be better writers if that's something that you're interested in. Going along with this new writing content, uh, keep an eye out for more live streams where we can do either reading sprints or writing sprints or anything that you want to accomplish. You can just sit down and hang with me and we can work on our goals together. Do me a favor, will you? If this content sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe so you know what's coming up, such as maybe a book versus adaptation discussion on Blake Crouch's Dark Matter. I'll also be sharing some of the lessons that I learned or some things that I learned about myself as a writer when I completed that 50,000 word challenge. Let's see what stories tomorrow brings.